Hi friends, so this channel is all about helping you with cloud certifications as well as give you knowledge around cloud generative AI and other technologies. So let us today look at what is the difference between ETL and ELT. If you are from the data integration space, you must be already working on ETL routines for a long time. ETL tools like App Initio, Data Stage, Informatica were very popular because it gives you a GUI interface which can be leveraged to create data mappings and move the data from source to target and in the process you can apply transformations but what the hell is ELT with the advent of technologies like Snowflake and Apache Isobug technologies ELT has become more common in real life what I see is when we implement projects using ELT we get very high performance loads and loads of data gets processed a lot faster i i would say at least three times faster so this is good in the recent space it is good so when we talk about etl etl what it means is they you connect to a source you extract the data you transform it in the process and then you load it so that is what we call extract transform and load the transformation of data happens before you load the data to the warehouse or the lake house your lake house is a new concept but you, you should remember it gives you a very good performance for example you see here the data lake house from snowflake you can go to this website i will post the link as well it gives you a very good amount of performance it reduces the uh, the time the overhead time it empowers your team it simplifies the pipeline and it is open interoperable and it is tightly integrated with the budget technologies Okay, now we also have a concept called extract load and transform and this has become very popular in the last two years so what we do here is we transform the data after you load the data into the warehouse that means you just you have this source you just get whatever is there in the file and dump it in the staging area and this is your snowflake for example and then after that you apply a transformation using snowflake routines snowflake sequels snowflake short procedures or in the recent years there are products like dpt which are very popular so here you can use it and then finally you can populate your data warehouse or lake house that is what is called elt the key differences you see the key differences you can read this you preload the data cleaning better for sensitive and regulated data etl and elt you have the raw data first you transform as needed and it leverages cloud computing so i've tried to beautifully summarize here if you're looking for pros and cons etl the pros if you use etl you get better data quality you have low storage costs and this is very ideal if you have compliance requirements like pii hipaa and so on the elt pros are it is faster to deploy it is more by it provides flexibility in the analysis piece and uh, it is good for big data kind of requirement if you have terabytes of data to be moved and etc and it scales up easily why it scales up easily because it has infinite amount of scalability available on the cloud platforms it tightly integrates with cloud platforms so for example snowflake snowflake is a very good database product which tightly integrates with uh, cloud platforms like azure aws on google cloud it is still trying to mature on google cloud but it works fantastic on aws and azure uh, can you put snowflake on premises not there it is not meant for on premises it cannot support on premises it's just like girls cannot stay with average or poor guys they want rich guys it is highly incompatible the same way it is here now let's look at the cons etl cons you what is the problem that you would face scalability if you have more data you want to scale up your your window is like two hours you have to finish your window but your data is more because of the acquisitions that your company has done and more data has flown in you are screwed up man you are screwed up there is no scalability available very limited because it is not making use of Amitabh Bachchan the cloud technologies cloud technology is the Rajnikanth of the tech world if you are not tightly integrated with the cloud technologies you are screwed up now longer time to insights see if I have to wait for eight hours 10 hours of window to process that data i have to wait my reporting team my business users who use those power bi tableau reports they have to wait for a longer period of time it's very boring to wait what will they do will they go and watch movie no they have to wait for eternity for your data will they have good impression about your systems and your it capabilities no they would be 
harass this is called harassing silent harassing higher maintenance if you have ATL routines you have higher maintenance why because you are tightly or tightly coupled with tools like Abnisho Informatica data sage uh, some ETL tools and the level of open sourceness is so less that you cannot uh, integrate with open source tools and that increases your maintenance you need an informatica guy only to help you out you need a data stage guy only to help you out so from a skill perspective it is so so important in this case that you get the right skill and your maintenance cost also increases because now you are not making use of devops for publish for deployment you are not making use of cloud technologies and so on so there is so much constraint available here with the ELT, what are the cons you have higher storage costs but who who worries about it storage is cheap compute is costly cost storage is cheap compute is costly storage is cheap compute is costly so when you are designing your systems always remember use less compute use more storage nobody worries about storage so even if it is higher storage cost who cares it is just damn pennies it's cost of pennies it requires robust data governance yes because when you are on cloud it takes very little time to go out of proportion people getting hacked your data getting compromised so you have to build a very strong governance model um, with etl you are mostly operating on premises or sort of a hybrid because informatica does have iics which is a cloud platform service but then you are still controlled your data is controlled okay the year you have to build data governance if you are a client if your client says no no i don't want to spend on data governance he's an asshole who went to us or sweden or uk when uh you know around 2005 2010 time frame and the world matured a lot indian it industry matured a lot after that so if those guys are your client advise them you are too old for this kind of a system adopt and make your data secure data governance otherwise one hack and you all lose your job and you may sense expose sensitive data that is so so important to protect you have pii governance rules and etc so you have to protect your sensitive data imagine a credit card, credit card company if your credit card number your first name last name gets leaked out people can mess up with that so your sensitive data should not be exposed that is a risk we have so you implement a very strong data governance routine and your sensitive data is protected so this is all about comparing the ETL versus ELT. A lot of time we get into projects and we say, okay, when we are designing as an architect, what should we implement? Should we use a ETL tool? How should we do the tool comparison? Which kind of tool would be better and etc. It is always better to use open source products and uh, use Python, PySpark kind of technologies because then your reliance on highly skilled Informatica guys, data state guys are, are reduced. So that way you just need some python developers you get them for pennies and you can use them for your data manipulation and data migration or building uh, di routines your data integration routines so these kind of routines are not very complex as long as you have figured out your mapping rules uh, coding that in python or pyspark is not too complex so that is why you may not require a heavily skilled resource you can do with three years four years experience people as well so what will 10 years 15 years experience people do they will design they will architect they will look out for a 35,000 feet uh, view of the system that is what you have to do and what will the people above 50 who are managers etc will do they will manage the projects but they will not have a lot of roles for management so eventually they will have to learn technology otherwise lose their job they will perish eventually so this brings us to the end of this part we will post many more such informative parts this channel is all about helping you with cloud certifications aws google cloud azure cloud and we keep posting small snippets and shots so that you can stay in tune with the current advancements in the technologies and cloud space generative ai space so on see you in the next part